Hello! I'm going to do a slightly different video today and we're going to call this one Why You Don't Sleep in the Light. And the reason that I'm doing this video is that uh, my little one really used to ask me a lot, why do I have to sleep in the dark, mummy? Why don't I sleep in the light? And so I um, did a bit of research and I explained it to him. Now, please do bear in mind, I'm not a sleep scientist. And if some of you watching this happen to be sleep scientists, you might decide that what I'm saying isn't right, in which case, please do let me know and I will maybe re-record it in the future with updated information. But this, from my understanding, is why you don't sleep in the light. When it's light, your eyes take in the light and they send a message to your visual cortex which is back here it's back in the back of your brain and your visual cortex decodes that as it being daytime so actually isn't that amazing your eyes take in information but your eyes aren't what enables you to understand what you're seeing the uh, ability to understand what you're seeing is actually your brain back here, the visual cortex. So your eyes take in light, your visual cortex decodes that as it being daytime and sends a message to your, wait for it, pineal gland, which is just here, right in the middle of your forehead. If you had a third eye, that's where it would be, back there in your brain. And your pineal gland, when it knows that it's daytime, produces a hormone called serotonin. And serotonin is like a feel-good, wake-up-and-face-the-day hormone. But when your eyes don't take in any light, they send a message to your visual cortex back here that there is no light. Your visual cortex decodes that as it being nighttime and sends a message to your pineal gland here at the top. And your pineal gland then stops producing serotonin and instead produces melatonin. They sound a lot alike, don't they? But melatonin is the chemical that floods your body and your brain with the message that it's time to rest, it's time to relax and it's time to go to sleep. Now, from what I understand, there are five stages of sleep. Stage one and stage two, your brain's fairly active, you're thinking things through, you're going over your day in your mind. But stages three, is that a three? <laughs> stages three and four are called slow wave sleep stages, or SWS for short. That's S for slow, W for wave, S for sleep. Now, when they talk about brain waves, they're not talking about a wave, hello wave, they're talking about um, when scientists monitor your brain activity and it's really, 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 really busy, there are lots of peaks and troughs peaks and troughs on a piece of paper that or the screen that monitors the activity um, so like loads and loads and loads of mountains just squished together or like an M over and over and over again the letter M over and over and over again um, and that is when your brain is really 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 busy you've got lots of ups lots of downs and it's squished together but when you're in slow wave sleep, the image that you see of your brain activity is more undulating, it's soft, it's ups and downs, ups and downs, like the wave of the ocean, up and down. It's not stormy, ferocious up and down, it's soft, up and down. That's slow wave sleep. It's when your brain activity has really, really calmed and you're fast asleep. So that is stage three through <laughs> three and four. Stage four, SWS, slow wave sleep stage four, is actually when you're super duper as fast asleep as it's possible to be. That's when your body's fast asleep and your brain is fast asleep. And actually that is when your body produces something called human growth hormone. 
now. Human growth hormone is important, not just because it helps you to grow, but also because human growth hormone sends a signal to all your cells that they need to regenerate and they need to heal any damage that might have taken place during the day. So that's why sleep is so very, very, very important if you're not feeling very well. Because if you spend time in a super duper deep sleep, SWS stage four, and your body produces human growth hormone, then um, your body tries really, really hard to heal itself. Sometimes it can't really heal itself and obviously it takes a really, really long time to get better from some stuff. But basically, stage four is really important for good rest and for growth and for your body to be healthy. So when stage four comes to an end, you enter stage five. And that is when your brain activity starts to um, come back and your body is super duper fast asleep, but your brain is waking up. And so you see shapes and images in your mind and they're your dreams. And that's why stage five is called REM. R for rapid, E for I, M for movement. It's because your eyes move around rapidly in response to the shapes and the images that you can see. They move around rapidly in response to your dreams because your eyes feel like they're seeing real things, even though it's only in your brain, which is pretty special, I think. Um, so REM stage five is also important because it's when you're short-term memories become consolidated into long-term memories. It's when so much learning takes place because your brain in REM stage five doesn't need to worry about keeping your body safe, right? Because your body is super duper fast asleep. So your brain doesn't need to monitor um, where you are in space. It doesn't need to stop you from walking into something or dropping the cup that you're drinking out of or tripping down the stairs. Your brain gets to only focus on your brain during SWS stage five. And that is why um, it's able to connect ideas together, the dreaming and the learning and the short-term memories into long-term memory creation kind of all come together. So that often when you wake up in the morning, you have a much better understanding of the world than when you went to sleep. And it's why if you go to bed thinking about a problem, sometimes when you wake up, you kind of know the solution. So that's stage five. Then you wake up and you fall asleep and you're awake so briefly that you don't even know you've woken up and you do it again. Stage one, stage two, SWS three, SWS four, REM stage five, awake, asleep. You do the whole thing three or four, sometimes even five times a night. And I think that's called your circadian rhythm your circadian cycle by contrast and kids I might have got rhythm and cycle the wrong way around but your circadian cycle is how much you're awake during the day versus how much you're asleep at night and it's really important to be in sync with your circadian cycle because your brain and your body need to know that they are always going to get the rest that they need to be fully able to function at the best level possible. So your body and your brain cannot be fully present and fully awake and fully embracing of your daily life if they're kind of on edge all the time worrying that they're never going to get the rest that they need. And that's why a lot of the time, even though you probably find it to be quite tedious and maybe even annoying, um, the grown-ups that are responsible for you try to get you into a routine. They try to make sure you're awake at the same time every day and you go to sleep at the same time every night. And that is so that your body and your brain can function at their maximum ability, fully embracing life, during your wakeful hours. In the awareness, your body and your brain are aware 
that they are going to get the sleep and the rest that they need between the nighttime hours, which they're kind of programmed to um, expect. And you can fall out of sync with your circadian cycle from time to time and you can kind of catch up on sleep. But if every single day you're out of sync with your circadian rhythm and your circadian cycle, what happens is you get really tired and really worn out and you don't know why and you get kind of fractious and you get kind of frazzled and you get kind of overwhelmed and you're more likely, I understand, to get sniffles and sneezes and just kind of generally feel out of sorts because you haven't been able to get the rest that you need and your body and your brain haven't been able to like relax into the peacefulness of the routine which is what they need right and it all comes down to sparking your well your brain thinking that it's nighttime thinking that it's time to sleep and you need to be in darkness for that and that is why you don't sleep in the light so it's been a really long explanation and I hope that it made sense. I hope that it's accurate. Um, you might need to watch it a few times and hopefully I haven't spoken too quickly. But in a nutshell, you need sleep because your brain needs to be able to produce melatonin, which is what you need to get into a sleepy deepy state of mind so that you can go through all your stage one, stage two, SWS stage three, SWS stage four, REM stage five, circadian rhythm, sleep blocks, and also so that you can have a good routine for your life, for your circadian cycle, so that your brain can act at its optimum level. And you know, you can be full of beans, you can be full of energy during the day because you know you're gonna get really good rest at night. And that is why you don't sleep in the light. If you're watching this before bed, um, night night sweet dreams uh, I hope you have a really good night's sleep and if you're watching this during the daytime well thank you for joining me and I have hope <laughs> I hope you have a really great day um, thank you for watching my video you take care now bye